I turned this house into this house for $894. Also, I turned this house into this house for $792. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is episode three of the Real Cost series. Today we're gonna to be talking about everything exterior house painting. If you don't know what the Real Cost series is, this is a series for investors or homeowners that are wanting to DIY a project. So I'm gonna be using my experience to break down the numbers of what it would actually cost you to purchase just the material from your local big box store. I have painted two houses in under 12 months, and this is mainly due to the fact that the cheapest quote that I got from a contractor to paint the blue house that we're gonna talk about first was $3,300. All the other quotes were up into five to $6,000 range, which is absolutely ridiculous. So we're gonna roll some of those clips now. So a little bit about this house. It was built in 47, so let's be honest, that's the original siding. It wasn't in the best condition. It ended up taking a lot of scraping and whoever owned the house before we did uh, really didn't know what they were doing when they painted it. They actually uh, put a latex paint over an oil-based paint, which was causing the paint to peel. Or the latex paint, the, the tan paint that you're seeing could have been peeling off because they didn't bother to clean the surface prior to painting. So I peeled a lot of this paint off uh, before we actually were able to uh, even start the power washing step. So in this house and with exterior house painting, it's mainly prep work. It's a lot of scraping, it's a lot of washing, uh, it's a lot of making sure that your surfaces are ready to be painted. So the actual supplies uh, isn't really the, the killer in these jobs, it's just the labor. But if you're willing to put in the labor or you know you have your family, family come over on the weekend, you know have them all uh, scrape a window or scrape a section of the house, it's really not that big of a deal. Thankfully on both these houses, I had help at some point, whether it was either scraping or painting for me, there's some family or friends, uh, which made it a lot better. But let's be honest, it, it took me a very long time to do both of these. So a little bit about the quote from the contractor that I got, the cheapest one at $3,300 for this blue house that you're seeing now. They wanted to go and replace a couple of boards. It was a handful of boards. It was maybe like five in the, the north facing side of the house uh, because they had started to rot up. But the house was built in 46. It was almost 2020 then. So it was it's just the end of 2019 when I ended up getting that quote and ended up, obviously I ended up painting it myself. But basically they wanted that money for scraping, replacing a couple of boards, and then coming in and painting. So I'm like, well, I mean, realistically, I can do it for substantially cheaper than that. So in terms of supplies, uh, this color is actually chimney smoke. It's a very dark blue, dark gray, almost black at night. It really kind of ate up the colors. Uh, this house had some weird lines in it uh, and kind of where we were in the turn, we thought this would work really, really well with the style. So for that painting with a Valspar Duramax 360, it was actually uh, a very a plasticky paint. It was terrible, I really, really hated it. Um, at the time, I was not aware that you could pick out a color that you wanted at Lowe's and then just take it to Home Depot and they would just mix it in the Bare Premium Plus or whatever, you know, whatever Bare paint that you want. Uh, so we ended up purchasing the paint from Lowe's at that point. And they have since discontinued this paint, so I'm not exactly sure of the price and I don't, I don't have that receipt anymore. Uh, but it was about $200 for a five gallon uh, a bucket. It was a little bit more than the Bare, which is why I was kind of annoyed at it to begin with because I would have rather been using Bare paint and it cost more. So we used right around 10 gallons. So that was about $400 in paint uh, to do that uh, chimney smoke color. And then for the trim paint, it was right about three gallons. There really wasn't a ton of trim area. And I ended up dropping one off the ladder. So I had to go and buy another gallon. So I think we probably could have got away with two gallons for this. I did have to purchase a, um, a 17 foot extension ladder. I actually ended up getting it from Harbor Freight. It was on sale and I had a 20% off coupon, but I couldn't remember what it was on sale for. Uh, so at the current price of this um, a little, like a little giant ladder, which is what they were called at uh, Home Depot, I just got it from Harbor Freight just, just for the price savings there. Um, if you were to buy it today, it'd be $112 with your 20% off Harbor Freight coupon. And all you have to do is sign up for their, their text notifications or emails or whatever it is. There's 20% coupons for Harbor Freight all around. And then I put in this list, I bought a, a paint mixer. It's not really a paint mixer. I actually use it for concrete, but I bought it around the same time and I actually use it more now for paint than I ever did for concrete. So I went ahead and threw that in the list because that is a cost and probably something that would actually be kind of helpful to have. And on this house, we actually pressure washed and then scraped and then uh, you know mudded and uh, filled cracks and all that stuff and then pressure washed again, uh, just because it was really, really dirty underneath that original paint. I wanted to make sure to uh, give it a nice clean slate there. So I put $80 for a pressure washer because I bought the, uh, it's like a 1600 PSI. It's like a Portland one from Harbor Freight, you know, cause I'm only using it a, a handful of times a year. Harbor Freight stuff's okay if you're not, you know, using it for commercial use. 
So it was $100. I had a 20% off coupon, so I ended up paying 80 bucks for it. You know, if you want to go to Home Depot, I think the, the, the standard Ryobi ones are like $130 or $140. Or you can just run a pressure washer if you don't want to have to store it in your garage after you're done using it and you're never going to use it again. But I ended up buying it, so that's what it cost me. In terms of paint brushes, we ended up spending around $60 on brushes. And it always amazes me how much paint brushes cost. Like they are so expensive. Uh, one tip on paint brushes, because I may forget later. The ones at Home Depot or Lowe's are always starting at like six or seven dollars a piece. But if you have Dollar Tree in your area, not Dollar General, uh, not the ones where stuff's actually more than a dollar. Dollar Tree, the one where everything's a dollar. A lot of Dollar Trees in their like automotive or construction section, construction section, will carry dollar paint brushes. And sometimes there's even multiple in a pack. They're actually really good, especially for trim, applying stain or small touch-up jobs. There's no point in spending, you know, six or seven dollars on, you know, one of those little stubby rubber handle ones uh, from Home Depot when you could just get a decent one. And you, the fibers don't fall out of it. So it actually is a decent paintbrush. So that's just something to consider. And then the last expense we had for painting this house was I actually rented a 30-foot uh, extension ladder from Sunbelt Rentals. I think it was like $15 a day. It may have been 20 but it was worth the cost um, because that size extension ladder is like a $350 ladder. And actually I ended up renting it on a Friday. They were closed Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday was a holiday. So I actually got to keep it from Friday until Tuesday when we returned it. I just made sure to do all the all the high areas. And they only charged me for the one-day rental. So I really lucked out there. Ended up saving quite a bit of money. So the Blue House honestly ended up taking me about almost four weeks to complete. I was probably putting in you know, four hours a day hand brushing and it was really difficult. Like we couldn't roll it at all uh, just because of the, the texture of the wood and the paint coats that were already on there. So having just painted this blue house and then deciding to paint another house five months later, uh, I actually ended up purchasing a paint sprayer from Home Depot. So I'm gonna throw up the pricing sheet real quick for the gray house. As you can see, the reason the price isn't that much different is because I didn't have to go and rebuy the material, like the ladder, the paint mixer, the pressure washer. And I wanted to give you an accurate number of what it actually cost me to do the house. Um, but obviously I, I put the numbers up there uh, beside it. So you can just add those back if you don't already have that material. So onto the color, these are standard bear colors. Uh, it's actually like it was in their 2020 summer guide. Or, um, so the house color is weathered moss. The trim and the porch are white and the door is little sundress. We were a little concerned with the yellow door, but for our, the last house, the blue house, we had tried to like mix and match colors and kind of do our own thing. Honestly, if you're just gonna pick a color, just go with one of those standard three color profiles that you see that a professional has already picked out. It's so much easier because you're otherwise you're just gonna end up trying multiple different door colors or multiple different trim colors, and it's just never gonna work out. It's never gonna look good. It's actually gonna cost you a bunch of money. So we just move on to one of the stock uh, three color profiles. So the paint sprayer ended up getting on sale. I think it was like a Memorial Day sale. I paid $344 for it. I ended up buying an extra section of hose for $54 because I knew I was gonna have to spray the upstairs. Um, and then it made it just so I didn't have to move the machine as much. So it was uh, $50 well worth it. And then I bought a 30 inch extension to go on the end of the gun. Uh, and that was $36. So here's the kicker for this house. This is a stucco house, so I was actually able to use stucco paint. Stucco bare paint is $100 for five gallons, as opposed to a bare premium plus exterior grade paint, which would be $180 for five gallons. So it's actually reading on Bear's website. It doesn't say this on the can. There really isn't any information at all. But according to Bear's website, you can actually use it on a limited application of wood. Since it's a different base paint, it's not a latex-based paint, it's like Elasto, Matic, some big long word. I don't really exactly remember it. So towards the back of our house, we actually have a, somebody had put an addition on before we moved in. It's actually like a, a particle board. Uh, it's not real wood, uh, but I actually was able to spray that stucco paint around there and it's actually holding up really, really good. So again, uh, for the actual uh, stucco weathered moss gray paint was $200 because they ended up going through 10 gallons. Uh, there is a little bit of waste when you use the paint sprayer, but for the time savings you get, really the cost is worth it. Uh, for the white trim paint, we ended up going through five gallons of that, but we used the exact same paint for the porch and that was probably at least two gallons of paint, if not two and a half gallons of paint. And just to keep in mind, when you're buying individual bare paints, they're um, about 35, 36, 38 dollars for the exterior ones. So again, for uh, a supplies uh, would be a ladder, a paint mixer, and a pressure washer. I didn't count those in the numbers, like I said before, um, because I already had those, but those numbers are there just in case you don't have them, then you can kind of figure it a little bit better. 
And the next thing is that since I bought a paint sprayer, I really needed to mask off the windows. In the blue house, we actually didn't have to tape off the windows. Uh, we just taped some of the trim, but we're hand brushing it all. So it was a lot easier to control. But with the paint sprayer, I actually sprayed the trim as well as the house. Um, and so I needed something to mask off the windows so I can spray the windows. So I ended up buying, it was like a 3M, M3000 masker where you, you know, the tape is up top and then the, the 48 inches of plastic drops down. It's fairly versatile. Honestly, something along with the paint sprayer I recommend for all exterior jobs, regardless, even if you're only gonna do it once. You know, if you're only gonna do it once, you might not need the Graco. Uh, I think I have the X7 paint sprayer. You probably could get, you know, you could get by with the X5 or even the Harbor Freight one. I, I, I read the reviews on it. It got really good reviews. The homeowners seemed to like it. I just knew that I would be using mine more often, so I went with a, a slightly better one. Plus, it was on sale. I think typically the Graco X7 uh, runs you around four hundred and thirty dollars or something like that. And then I threw in an extra fifty dollars just for extra supplies. Um, you know, I didn't actually I didn't buy any brushes because I didn't do any brushing. Uh, the paint stirrers are free. I didn't buy any drop cloths. But I'm sure there's just some type of little supplies that I forgot. Oh, I forgot to add in the quart of paint for the. Uh, front door I think that was $12 which is perfect that's why I was adding a little random category of like you know 50 bucks here 40 bucks there you know just of supplies that I forgot because I'm not making these videos as I'm doing the project the project is already complete you know and all the excess is already you know either returned or thrown away and another thing to keep in mind is that Black Friday is coming up you know they're gonna be running on sales especially if you're considering buying a paint sprayer or you know one of these other larger items because most likely they're gonna be on sale. Like I said, I got about $90 off the uh, Graco sprayer that I bought. So who knows what big ticket items you're gonna be able to get on sale this year, you know, pressure washer, ladder, sprayer. Hopefully this video is informative. Hopefully you liked it. I've been trying to make them a little bit more enjoyable, but let's be honest, this is a real estate investing video about spending money on supply. So really how interesting could it get? I'll catch you next video.